When you take a really close look at this, you might be inclined to say that it's poison ivy growing with Virginia creeper. However, what if I were to tell you that it's actually all Virginia creeper? Well, a couple of months ago, I would have thought it was completely crazy. But we're going to take a really close look at this, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on here. So, let's get right into it. Poison ivy and Virginia creeper are both vining plants that are poisonous to consume, and they frequently grow together. This companionship makes the whole situation a little bit more interesting. So, before we talk about what we saw earlier, let's start off with what poison ivy looks like, so we can really see how confusing this is. Poison ivy is a plant that's very notorious and infamous for causing skin rashes because of the essential oils that are within the plant. Now, if we look very closely here, we're going to notice these three leaves or leaflets. These are actually leaflets, though they are separated by a little bit of a stem. These are actually leaflets. The leaflets of poison ivy are lance-shaped, and there are going to be lobes or teeth along the margins like we can see right here. We see this little bitty lobe starting. If we look on this one, we can see little bitty lobes again along the margins of the leaves. If we look along the margins of this leaflet right here, we can notice the teeth that are growing along the sides of the leaf or the margin of the leaf. So you're going to notice teeth and lobes growing along the leaflets of poison ivy. As poison ivy climbs along trees like we have in front of us, we're going to notice this woody, vine-like structure growing up along inside of the ridges of the bark. Poison ivy will attach itself through the tree and actually into the tree itself. It can also be destructive to masonry and brickwork. So that's something else to keep in mind when you are looking at this plant. Now that we've taken a quick look at poison ivy, let's take a quick look at Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper is extremely easy to identify. It's a vining plant that will attach itself to trees and other things via little suction cups that we can see here. There are usually five leaflets in a palmate shape, and each leaflet will usually have strong teeth along their margins. Now that we've seen both of these plants up close, I'm sure you'd be even more positive that what we saw in the beginning is actually a poison ivy plant. But here's the thing. It's actually a Virginia creeper plant employing a defense strategy known as mimicry. Mimicry is a rather interesting phenomenon in the natural world where an animal, or a plant in this case, will mimic or imitate something for defense mechanism, generally to protect itself from being preyed upon. A really common example of mimicry that you've probably seen before is the stick bug, where they appear to look like a twig to keep themselves safe from predators. Now there are 16 types of mimicry, but only a few of those will apply to plants. For plants, there's Bacarian Mimicry, Dodsonian Mimicry, Vavilonian Mimicry, Puyanian Mimicry, Batesian Mimicry, and Cryptic Mimicry, which contains Leaf Mimicry. What we are looking at is a form of Leaf Mimicry, of which there is no current explanation for. This usually happens when a plant mimics another plant that it's touching, but it has been observed without the plants touching at all, like we are seeing here, because this Virginia creeper plant is over 40 yards away from this poison ivy plant. While it's not known why this occurs, it is known that young Virginia creeper will resemble poison ivy in leaf shape, which is odd because many animals, especially deer, will feed on poison ivy leaves. Well, various insects and even herbivores such as cattle and deer will also eat Virginia creeper leaves, so it doesn't appear to be something to keep itself from being eaten. After all of this, I can only assume that it does this to keep itself safe from humans, as we will generally leave poison ivy alone. Now, I'm not sure if this is the case, and this is pure conjecture, and some Google searches were less than helpful on why it will do this. However, it is something that I found interesting, and I wanted to share with all of you. So, the next time you're looking at what you think is a poison ivy plant, it may just be a Virginia creeper playing pretend.